Okay, Nova, week four drills. You could set her up a little closer to the wall. If some dogs don't like to be right up against the wall, but it would make that just slightly better. So yeah, you're in the way. You do your cross though with four nice big steps getting out of her way. She does a really nice job of keeping the bar up. So the solution is to not go in so deep into that tunnel. So that way you can get downstream sooner um, to make sure that you are out of her way. And then she stops and runs in front of you and looks at you and then gets paid for stopping and looking at you. So now if we're going to rear cross, this is a time when we can go deeper into the tunnel. See how there's that green space between the wall and uh, the number 80 and her? She could be set up a little closer to that. That would make that line slightly smoother. But so, but and maybe, barely, maybe like a foot or something. Um, so now we're going to rear cross. The rear cross should be uh, different. This part of your drill should be different. If we're going to rear cross, then we can pick her up right out of the tunnel. Before you drive your line, you need to, so you're trying to send her on this path, but you need to get commitment before you do your rear cross, before you drive your line, and you're running downstream. You can't run downstream until she is committed to her path. Instead of being committed on her path, she's looking at you. She's looking at you because she wants to get right here to get paid. Because that's how she gets paid. Then you turn her away and you get the rear cross. Great. And then she stops and runs up to you and gets paid. We need to pay her on her line. Okay, so now we're going to blind cross. So like the front cross, when we front and blind, we need to get downstream much quicker, much quicker than, say, the rear cross. So I hope, I want to see you not go in so deep into that tunnel so that you can get downstream. And that's tough. Uh, you're going to have a tough time making this blind. And see where you are now. Uh, you should be looking over your shoulder, watching her take the jump, and your two feet should be right there, about five or six feet further, which would have been about three feet less there. That would have given you the jump to be three foot sooner uh, this way. But you do a nice job of getting out of her way, trusting that she's going to take a jump. And that she and she does a great job of keeping the bar up and then she takes the jump and then she stops and turn towards you and gets paid for turning towards you And then she takes this jump and turn towards you to get paid. But this time you say, no, nope, go take that tunnel. Okay. <clears throat> so again, with the blind, you need a longer send to the tunnel so that you can get downstream um, a little sooner. You, you are able to clear this one. This one is kind of funny. She does... Uh, drop the bar, but it's fair because you're still kind of in her way when she takes it Although that blind cross was a little better than your first one Now uh, your first one you were uh, more in her way But it's still fair that she takes the bar down and then she takes the jump and then turns and looks at you and stops and gets paid for looking at you
So she takes the jump and then stops and, and looks at you for her payday. All right, so you sent her. You're not quite as, as deep this time. So see how you are? Uh, so you are out of the way just barely, just barely this time. But it's because you didn't go in as deep over here. So that's good. So you're kind of like, I don't know if it's conscious or not, but you're fixing it as you go along with these three tries. That's, uh, and that is the solution. And then after she takes the jump, she looks at you and then gets paid. So you're getting a little bit um, better with those tunnel sends each time. Although this time, <laughs> now, now it doesn't matter as much because we're just going to do a wrap. Uh, which surprises her. She doesn't know. It, uh, so she takes it the far. She hits it real hard with her hind feet and, she get, and she's surprised. So I would add some um, verbals to this. Some dig, 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 dig. As soon as she's in the tunnel. Dig, 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 dig. So that way she knows in advance. There's three kinds of verbals. There's the good, the bad, the ugly. There's the good, which is the predictable verbals. She needs a predictable verbal. Um, so that was a good job of rewarding her out of the tunnel. But your treat is a tiny little brown thing, I think. So she doesn't see it until she turns around and looks at you. So um, good job of, of throwing the treat out there on her line, on the tunnel line. Um, try to make it more something more visible to her so she can see it and chase it um but it's good that you tried to do that before she you tried to do it before she stopped and looked at you uh so verbals uh work on the dig 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 um good is predictable so that they know what's going to come and that can be helpful uh bad verbals are ones that are they're like kind of meaningless to the dogs Things like just always talking to them or something, where it becomes just uh, background chatter. And the uglier ones, verbals that surprise the dogs. Dig, 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 dig. Could have been saying it like right when she was coming out of the tunnel. Would have pre allowed her to predict that she's going to rap. So she comes out of the tunnel immediately looking for you to take the jump. And... Okay, so that is your, that's your best reward where she gets paid on her line for taking the jump. All right, and she plays soccer with it a little bit. <laughs> Very cute. Very nice. Um, your front cross um, footwork uh, continues to be your greatest strength. Your greatest weakness continues to be all those rewards when she stops and takes the jump and looks at you. Um I know that there's a delay of when you did these versus all this feedback and I've been really, really harping on it now for you uh, for a little while now. So hopefully you're working on um, these rewards with your whatever you're working with on her now. It's one of the unfortunate side effects of having the delay of the class. Uh, so I really hope that you are working on these rewards and that you see it time and again with these videos.